we got some important, important uh, lines in the sand that we're looking at. It's something that Kevin and I have been calling the Bitcoin Doom Dome. We're setting a bit of a historic precedent here. Was it really that event that caused the rally to go up? The economy is going to start suffering pain. That's really bonkers. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Talking Trades. It's uh, Kevin Wadsworth and I, Patrick Karim. Uh, we're back with you. And today, we're going to talk to you about cryptos. But in particular, we're going to talk about Bitcoin. And we got to look at this big picture stuff. We got some important, important uh, lines in the sand that we're looking at. And it's something that Kevin and I have been calling the Bitcoin Doom Dome. But guys, don't fall for that clickbaity title. Kevin's going to go into details of what it implies and how to really read that chart. Yeah, thanks, Pat. So uh, we're going to show the uh, the Bitcoin chart here. And uh, the uh, the Bitcoin chart, uh, if you look at the uh, daily time frame, in fact, you can uh, get sort of lost in the detail a little bit. And it sometimes does help to zoom out and look at the big picture. But here we have the uh, the daily time frame chart. And this is the daily candle chart for uh, for Bitcoin there. And you can see quite clearly that we've broken a, a pretty important horizontal support level there. Uh, but is that going to be a problem? Do we have a major longer term issue here? Of course, we reached uh, 73,000 or roughly 73,000, a little bit more uh, back in, uh, I think it was March of this year. Since then, we've trended sideways and down. And more recently, of course, we've fallen from over 70,000 to, uh, to well below uh, 60,000 and that uh, important support level in the mid 50s. But uh, as I say, it's uh, it's important to zoom out at times and take a look at the bigger picture. And uh, Pat mentioned the doom dome or the dome of doom, however you want to put it. But uh, these arcs and uh, domes, they crop up a lot, actually, in technical analysis. And uh, very often we focus on uh, straight lines, whether they're horizontal straight lines, whether they're angled straight lines and they provide support and resistance on these charts and understanding where that support and resistance is is uh, is key to technical analysis in fact and identifying those entry and exit points you can see quite clearly on this chart that when price breaks through these uh, resistance lines it signifies uh, an acceleration of the trend or a developing new trend again we broke out here uh, above horizontal resistance and we had a very rapid move upwards. But what's probably catching your eye and what's uh, certainly caught my eye over recent uh, months is this red inverted arc. OK, you've probably seen the arc patterns quite a lot on our charts and you're used to seeing them in uh, this sort of configuration where it acts as a, a support line. And you see these arc patterns in the Bitcoin cycle and the Bitcoin charts that guide the price upwards. But the entire pattern, as it happens, is contained within another arc, but this time the arc is upside down. OK, it's uh, it's actually a dome. If I just uh, make the picture a little bit clearer for you there, you can see it's a domed pattern. And people have looked at this. Uh, I put it out on social media and they said, oh, so Bitcoin's going to zero, is it? And laughing emojis and all that kind of stuff. It does not imply that Bitcoin is going to zero. I'll say that again. This does not imply that Bitcoin is going to zero. OK. Uh, it is a resistance line, nothing more, nothing less than a resistance line. You can see there was a red horizontal support and resistance line here. Price has moved through it, back tested, gone up again, back down. It acted as support, then it broke, then it acted as resistance. And now we've gone up again. So that's how that horizontal red line acted as support and resistance. The black line did the same thing, resistance, 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 and then boom, off it goes. It becomes support. Price touched it and it acted as a support line. So what are these lines? Well, you know, we draw these lines on the chart. What are they? They're points on the chart that tell us when something significant is going to be decided. Because either the price breaks through the resistance and enters a new uptrend or it doesn't. And exactly the same thing applies with this red dome. OK, we can make a, a, a statement and say that Bitcoin is going to zero if it remains under the dome. That is a completely true statement because if it remains under the dome, over time, it is going down to zero, okay? But that does not mean that Bitcoin is gonna remain under the dome, does it? No, it doesn't, any more than these other support and resistance lines. So at some point in the future, whether it's next week, next month, next year, or in five years time, 
Bitcoin is likely to break out of this dome, unless you happen to believe that Bitcoin is going to zero. I'm going to make no judgment on where Bitcoin is going because that would be biased. OK, so if you're sitting listening to this saying either, yeah, Bitcoin is going to zero or Bitcoin is going to a million dollars, then I'm sorry to say it, but you're making the biggest mistake a technical chart trader can make. You're introducing bias. And that is the one thing that technical charts and technical chart analysis gives us. It takes away the bias. It takes away the opinions, the narrative. And that's what technical chart analysts need to do. We need to focus on the scientific technical evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. And that red line is a key evidential point because below it, Bitcoin is trapped. Above it, Bitcoin becomes free to enter whatever new phase of bullish uptrend uh, d develops beyond that point. And we'll be able to use technical analysis to identify when Bitcoin once again becomes um, vulnerable to price declines, for example, by using distance from moving average and calculating when Bitcoin becomes historically stretched from its moving average. So all we know at the moment, Bitcoin is in a consolidation pullback correction. Yes, it's contained underneath that dome. Yes, the dome is wanting to push the price down, but that does not mean that Bitcoin cannot overcome that resistance line, that red line on the chart. You can see that it touched it perfectly uh, at five points now. The first point there was a slight overshoot, which is to be expected when Bitcoin was uh, was just released. There's a lot of energy in this first cyclical move upwards and a lot of energy again in this cycle here where we hit point number two on the edge of the arc. But it's not coincidence that point number three, point number four and point number five all fall on a geometrically perfect inverted dome. I haven't just got a, a squiggly line on this chart and drawn a curve and stretched it to make it fit by by changing the the uh, focal point on that curve. You know, if, if I'd done that and, and somehow drawn a curve that fitted all these points by manipulating the curve, then this wouldn't it wouldn't mean anything. But when you get a perfect geometric arc on your technical analysis platform of choice, it, it's either an arc that goes up or it's an arc that goes down or you can adjust adjust its, its width in time. So you can adjust it and you can make the arc larger, you can make it smaller, you can invert it. But what you cannot do is you cannot make it unsymmetrical. It's a symmetrical, perfectly symmetrical um, dome or arc. The right hand side of that hemisphere is exactly the same as the left hand side. So from a mathematical point of view, it is a perfect mathematical dome. And because of that, it carries significance. Um, and so, as you can see with all of these arcs and the four of them on this chart, one, two, three, and the big red one, they all have acted and they have proven to, to be um, effective methods for identifying support and resistance when, um, when, a, when an instrument has a very clear cyclical behavior. And you can say a lot of things about Bitcoin, um, you know, whether you like Bitcoin or not. But one thing you can say about it is it has very clear, very good cyclical behavior. Cycle one, cycle two, cycle three. In fact, this is there was a cycle before this as well that goes goes prior to this. So if I had more more data on this particular chart, there was a, uh, a cycle before that as well. We're actually in the fourth uh, cycle here. So whether or not this cycle is complete, it may be. The cycle may be finished. That may be the high point of the cycle at 73,000, just a little bit higher than the previous cycle. That's a possibility, uh, but um, we don't know that for certain. What we do know is the target has been reached and we are now in a pullback consolidation correction. We don't know exactly how deep it's going to go, but the arc will tell us when it's safe to uh, safe to get back into Bitcoin. So that's my um, little piece for for this uh, for this podcast. Um, just uh, take note of these arcs and domes when you see them on the chart, and do not make assumptions about them that aren't correct. As I said, it doesn't mean Bitcoin's going to zero. It's just um, giving us a guide as to when we when we can feel confident again. I'll, I'll tell you what it does mean, Kevin. It does mean a, a dome means that the logarithmic because it's a log scale. The logarithmic advance has slowed down. That's what it means, right? Because the yeah. 
because the dome, the nature of the dome, the left hand side will, will be moving up fast the edge, but as you start going up, it starts smoothing out. So that means the huge gains of Bitcoin are in the past. Right now, that logarithmic gaining mode is you're, when you're hitting that top of that arc and uh, the, the dome and it's reacting, that means right now the momentum is flat and the logarithmic advance has completely stalled, right? Because look at 0.5, it's almost at 0.4 and it's starting to be lower. So that the, for Bitcoin to reaccelerate logarithmically, it has to bust out of the dome and then restart a new logarithmic advance. But guys, no need to front run that. Like Kevin said, it's a resistance line and uh, respect it. Don't get trapped. Yeah, and uh, just to wrap up on that point, the distance from moving average indicator for Bitcoin shows that loss of momentum, that uh, huge amount of momentum that we saw back here uh, with a peak in 2017, less momentum in 2021 and uh, declining momentum now. When I say momentum, I'm defining that by distance from moving average. So this is measuring the distance between the uh, 36 month moving average and the price. It achieved a huge distance from moving average the first time around there, less distance from moving average the next time, and uh, it appears a uh, lesser distance from moving average on this occasion. That's how we define loss of momentum. Diminishing returns is perhaps another way of putting it. So we'll finish on that point. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, Talking Trades, and don't forget to follow us for more content.